Welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to take Joe's Action Text plugin and the official Show Message plugin, and we're going to combine them so that we can get the best of both worlds while we're doing things like cutscenes. In the cutscene video that I recently did, you'll see that I have all the show messages stacked into one action, and so we can use this system to our advantage that show tech or that show message allows us to do. But we can now combine it with Joe's action and now get the best of both worlds. So let's get started. All right, so this is going to be a quick video. I'm in the uh, message bus project that I did a while back. And all we need to do is make sure that we add Joe's action text. And you can rename this when you import it to uh, Joe's, if this helps you know better, Joe's action text. And then here I also have the official show message plugin. These are the two that you need to add. And then in the object here, this is the Joe's plugin that comes with it. So I usually will just call this Joe's action text you can rename this object just don't do anything inside the object but you can totally rename it like this all right so now in the npc here you'll see that in the uh, show messages here what we do is we can now show an action text and then we can break it with a show message so the show message if you remember from the cutscene video this will pause the this action until this is um, done and the cool thing is is so you can show the actual message in the Joe uh, text here but then this just has to be a blank text message and all you got to do is make sure that you have a font associated with it and then put background none and then when you hit ok it will pause after showing this this one first one says player normal face and this next one says player angry face so if we go to play this we can see that the first one pops up, it says player normal face, and it's paused there. You can see it's paused right here. And it's there's a none background, so you can't even see anything. There's no font. You can see the arrow still though. And so this is something that you can keep the arrow or not keep the arrow, wh whatever you prefer. I'll show you how to get rid of it in a second here. But for right now, it's it's nice to know that, okay, you're in the dialogue, you can press next. And then it goes to the next one. And how it goes to the next one is if you remember Joe's action text, um, if you haven't seen that, I've also got a video on that. You have to destroy the, the last one and then call a new one. So you can see that right after the show message, when it continues, that means that you press the input to continue. So it's going to destroy Joe's. It's going to recall another one of Joe's and then it's going to pause again until Joe's is all done reading or until you press the input again. So this is, how you can kind of give Joe's action text a show message like control. And yeah, so yeah, just make sure that it's a blank text. And the font is important, you got to set a font, it doesn't matter which one. And then you can show none. Now, let me, uh, let me add another one here. So you could just simply just copy these. And then you could select a, another one. So we'll just go with uh, NPC ones now angry. And then we would put a show message uh, on the tail end of that and then we would play and now we would see player normal face player now angry and this whole text used to show busts so if it doesn't make sense that's okay and then npc now angry and then the only thing that is left that i did not do was we didn't destroy it so i'm glad that i did this test so just make sure that you destroy it at the very end and so now if we play uh, test this, we can go one, two, and then three, and then it destroys. And then we could do it again, and we get them all the same again. Okay. All right, so now the, the last thing we'll go over is how to get rid of that arrow. Say you don't want that arrow, you want to put up a custom arrow. Well, then in that case, uh, you would go to resources here, and we just would need to edit this. So you can go to a project open folder and we could go to image we're just going to find that uh, that background image all right so here it is and so what we're going to do we don't want to edit this directly we're just going to open this open we'll just open it with gimp that's all i got 
and then quite simply we're just going to remove the arrow we could remove it all to be honest so we could just remove it all but we just want to export it to we don't want to override it we want to export it to a new um area so just real quickly i'll move it to downloads uh new background export and then we'll load it from our uh, new background so now it's blank and if you remember in the plugins here the show message this is the this is where you choose the background image so i'm just using the default uh, message box here and let me just yep that's the one that i replaced so now if we go and play this we'll see that the arrow is not there anymore and so now you could add your custom arrow just wherever you would like it instead but it's really cool because you've got that that nice pause feature from the show message and you're using it in conjunction with the joe action text which obviously looks a lot nicer and it gives you auto filled borders and and it's got it does all the calculations for you so you don't have to like know how wide or high your text width is going to be right here you can just do a border fill you can say the border width and then you can give it padding of five five i just gave five if we did let's say let's say we did 20 each one you'll see that it's going to fill it in with 20 wide spaces in between so 20 20 20 and 20 so that's why using joe action text would be nice but one of the things that it was lacking was exactly how do you pause it before you would have to go like this you'd have to say this is uh, text one and then this one would be text two and this this would have to be an input of a or something like this and then this would show um act this would show one action text then this next one would delete the action text and then it would show the other one but the thing is is you'd have to have one for for each of these and so you could see a whole conversation you can have action after action after action well if you combine it with the show message now you can have it all once again in one action which is just the most preferred preferred method you could do for a dialogue system like this one thing that i forgot to bring up is that the condition to go back is also the show message condition which is message has ended so you can now couple in joe action show message use the show message condition to be message has ended in order to do something and now do remember that this is because there's no weights in this runtime action as soon as there was a weight anywhere inside here then this uh, message has ended will will not run correctly all right so if you do have any weights you can't use this condition really well but in a situation like this where it's just show action text show message and then we destroy show another action text show a blank message and then we just keep doing this well this is fine and this sh message has ended is going to trigger naturally so that's another cool thing about th with this combination and so yeah if there's any questions uh, down in the comments steam forms will get you figured out and with that said we'll see you at the next video